All right. So it is, uh, let's see, Wednesday the 14th of September, uh, 22, and we are going elk hunting uh, tomorrow. So I, uh, <laughs> I got this GoPro here for the sole purpose of documenting. I thought it'd be very cool to make a video series of the first hunt, uh, people trying to get out there and experience Colorado hunting uh, at its finest and truly I am a novice. <clears throat> uh, my first hunt was last year. I'm 30 years old uh, last year uh, in October and so I went hunting my first time uh, for nine days straight in November. Third season rifle hunting with a 30-06 that my dad gave me so um, that was my first experience and I saw four bucks uh, over the over the span of of nine days of of straight hunting, and uh, none of them we got a shot on. Uh, I was with my brother-in-law Ben for the first portion of it, uh, then solo, and then with my other brother uh, Barrett, and so it was a great first hunt. And now, so Ben, brother Ben. Uh, my twin's husband, he gave me his old archery uh, compound bow. So, I have no choice but to uh, but to do a little September uh, deer hunting, mm, cow hunting. So I gotta kill, I gotta kill a cow, elk, archery. Then I got a private land doe tag and third season buck uh, rifle. So... Uh, just testing out the old GoPro here. I got you set up on a <clears throat> the helmet cam, but uh, gear-wise, you know, um, we'll go through boots, um, bow, jacket. Uh, kind of see what we got going on here with the, uh, the helmet cam. So make sure we're all right and tight. And uh, show you all some of the gear that uh, we got for this first hunt. All right, this is some 9.5 basic water. Uh, be bringing some rifles. I'll uh, we'll be bringing some audio. Uh, this is not really technical for the hunt. Uh, we might have to rescue Lily. She wants to come, but snacks. These are just high calorie items. Uh, this is kind of the miscellaneous box of gear plus some hunting gear. Um, you know, we just got some things we're, we're gonna be bringing along with us. So uh, this is kind of the go table packing, um, getting there. So got the old boots, uh, really roughed up. <laughs> A couple year old boots, but we're gonna bring those. Uh, get some shoe goo on them and uh carry on so hi lily it's our littlest one she is uh just over one Toyota Tundra and we got the home built home built camper on her. So uh, last year <laughs> we had a bunch of extra aluminum come up for grabs and um, I grabbed it and painted it and riveted it, got some custom springs. All this design was uh, done by yours truly, and this is just, uh, it's called the Alu Panel. And basically it's two really thin pieces of aluminum sandwiched between, on top of plastic. So it's plastic core aluminum. And, yeah, so you can get inside. This is kind of your side axis, but, I 
it's there. And so I think we'll go through all the gear when we actually pull, uh, set up camp, but uh, you know, we got some safe space heaters, um, you know, kitchen, easy up, etc. This is the big guy here. Inverter takes all of our DC charge and turns it into AC. So we get we get light, and so we got our sleeping platform up above here. And see, we're sitting at about. 12.8 volts, that's pretty good for after, uh, it's, you know, it's been parked under our carport here, so, uh, no sun, but we might pull it out. <laughs> so, yeah, all these open up, so you got access here to things, um, this is just solid, that's our inverter, uh, Turns all of our power into what we need, and then I got a line actually going uh, down into the cab. So the line into the cab comes down to here. Actually, lights this thing up with power, and. That's where we got our dual compartment, fridge freezer combo. So that's set. Bunch of water secured in. A little additional water. This is all my hunting. More hunting items. So that's a pretty good list for you, what you might need. And bumping into the Kawasaki. Uh, yeah, we wrecked her, so we had to build a build a frame for it. <laughs> and then it's gonna be our hunting bag. We'll go through the gear. It's a new backpacking, new Ur backpacking bag that I've used on the Appalachian Trail, Colorado Trail. Uh, just, you know, a few items here, but. So yeah, when you. You're ready to sleep, you just undo all the latches and pop it up and you got about over three feet of, of headroom. I had to get these custom made out of uh, British Columbia because uh, you can't get a gas, gas uh, strut that big um, commonly made. These ones you can get common, but those ones you couldn't. So. Last thing to show is the other upgrades we've done. It's cosmetic only, but we got the black inlaid lights from an OEM. Uh, we got Falcon Wild Peaks. This for traction. We got Bilsteins with new um, springs. That gives us a two inch lift. Uh, a little bit more with this extra bumper weight. So this is a custom fabricated bumper uh, I built myself from a kit from Coastal Off-Road. Welded it all myself, grinded it. That was probably the funnest project so far. But I uh, don't have a winch, haven't ever needed one. Eventually we'll get one because I don't have a rear locker. So that's going to be the biggest issue. But we are pretty set up for hunting.